Before we move on to the next topic, that's simple interest, we must first be very clear about these terms. Principal, rate of interest and account. The sum borrowed or lent is called the principal, which is denoted by P. The interest agreed per year as a percentage is called the rate of interest and it is denoted by R. The principal and the interest put together is known as amount and it is denoted by A. Hope you all are clear with these terms. Okay. All right then. Let's learn about simple interest now. Simple interest that is SI is the extra money paid by people along with the main amount that's borrowed. Let's see what the formula for SI is. Simple interest that is SI is equal to principal into time into rate of interest whole by 100 or to simply put it PTR by 100. Now for example let's say P is equal to 1000 T is equal to three and a half years and R is equal to 6%. Find I. Solution. What's the formula for simple interest? PTR by 100. So substituting it by numbers, 1000 into three and a half into six whole by 100. That is 1000 into seven by two into six whole by 100. Now taking the denominator down, 1000 into seven into six whole by two into 100. On solving it, simple interest is equal to rupees 210 only. Example, a man borrowed some money at 15% simple interest and cleared the debt at the end of 2 years and 8 months by paying rupees 9240. Find the sum borrowed. Solution, let the sum borrowed be x. Rate of interest of the sum is 15%, that is r. The time taken by the man to clear the debt is 2 years, 8 months, that is T. So 2, 8 by 12 is equal to 2, 2 by 3, which is equal to 8 by 3. So the total amount paid by the man is 9240 rupees. Therefore, amount is equal to principal plus interest. So 9240 is equal to X plus I. So, 9240 minus x is equal to i. Let this be equation 1. Now, we also know that i is equal to p, t, r by 100. Substituting the values of p, t and r in that equation 1, we get i is equal to x into 8 by 3 into 15 whole by 100. Substituting equation 1 here, we get 9240 minus x is equal to x into 8 by 3 into 15 whole by 100. Solving the equation further, we get 9240 minus x is equal to 2x by 5. Taking x on the left side, 9240 minus x whole into 5 is equal to 2x. 46200 minus 5x is equal to 2x. So x is equal to 46,200 by 7 which is equal to 6,600. Therefore x is equal to 6,600. The sum borrowed by the man is 6,600. 